Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this popcorn. It's so quick, it's so easy, it's so tasty and it's so healthy for you. They contain a few vitamins, they're high in fibre and they give you the same amount of antioxidants in like about this an average size portion as your entire day worth of fruit and vegetables. It has recently been discovered in a test or experiment type thing. I don't know, I just know how to make it, so I'm going to show you. So if you want to know how to make popcorn, keep on watching. Now it is honestly so easy to make. All you need is some popping corn. I got mine from Sainsbury's. Um, I didn't know where there would be when I went into the shop, so I asked the lady and she directed me where there were and it turns out that there was on the aisle where the pasta, the quinoa and all this like cinnamon, nutmeg, all the spices and things like that that were on a shelf there. But if you don't know where the popcorn kernels are, let somebody ask. And this is what they look like. They're just like little yellow seeds I guess they look like. So to make it, what you need is one bowl, you need two bowls or a brown paper bag. So I'm going to put some kernels in the smallest bowl, might put a few more in than that. But it's weird because like not one one kernel does not make one piece of popcorn it seems it seems like they just expand and go massive and then we put the bigger one over the top of it and then we're going to go to the microwave about now Before you know it, your house smells like an actual cinema. And take it out of the microwave, take the lid off, and there you have your popcorn. Simple as that. So that's what it looks like. Well, it looks like normal popcorn, but sometimes if we look at the bottom, all the kernels don't pop. So if you can see right at the bottom, there's still a few of the orange kernels. So what I usually do with them is I just put them back in my tub and save them for next time. Now the fun part comes in, you can leave it completely plain, I quite like it plain actually, or you can add fruit to it, melted chocolate to it, chocolate chunks, uh, caramel sauce that you've made, treat anything at all that you want to add, but I'm keeping mine healthy so I'm going to add some dried cranberries which are a good source of antioxidants as is the popcorn as we've said earlier. So I'm just going to shove some of them in like that and then to get it a bit sweet tasting I'm going to add some of my groovy food agave nectar which I love squeeze it on and then what I usually do is grab a spoon and just give it a bit of a mix get all that syrup well it's not syrup it's agave nectar somehow I always call it syrup though for some reason I guess it kind of is like a syrup and I give it a mix and let it all get drained in it so there you have it you have made your very own popcorn in about two minutes flat it's good for you it's healthy there's nothing bad added to it it's not messy it's so easy and quick and so so tasty you can take this out on a picnic in a lunchbox for school work or if you're going to the cinema and instead of paying their extortionate prices for popcorn take your room that's what I've been doing it tastes just as good it's a whole lot cheaper like the whole bag of popcorn kernels from Sainsbury's I think cost me £1.10 and you can just make so many batches of popcorn so thumbs this video up if you've enjoyed it let me know if you are going to give it a go yourself I would love to see your results so you can tweet me them or send me a video link to your video so I can watch it and thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time I'm going to go eat this now goodbye